Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm, we are going to be doing a very special hands-on review. Uh, today uh, I have with me uh, my very uh, gorgeous uh, Aunt Laura. Uh, not only does she enjoy reading, but she also enjoys uh, cooking, and in turn, uh, she enjoys eating. Uh, today, uh, the recipe that we're going to be... Uh, Making with one another, uh, since this hands-on review is a recipe, uh, is a kale ricotta dip from Martha Stewart's Vegetables, which is uh, Martha Stewart's newest cookbook that was put together by her editors, but uh, Martha Stu it contains Martha Stewart's uh, recipes or those that she approved and she also writes the uh, foreword. Uh, this particular book is sorted into 11 different chapters that are based on different kinds of vegetables, uh, even uh, those fruits that we thought were vegetables. Uh, this particular recipe for kale ricotta dip can be found in the greens chapter. So, without further ado, let's begin. This particular recipe calls for uh, a small bunch of kale. Uh, we're only going to use as much as we need. Uh, over here we have the uh, ricotta cheese. Uh, it's going to call for a cup, uh, some extra virgin olive oil, uh, salt and pepper. And over here is the uh, Italian bread that we're going to make into uh, crostini. So we should begin by uh, preheating the oven, uh, which we're going to be uh, using to 400 to 425. So we go to bake, and we are going to uh, begin. It starts at 100 and makes its way up to 425. It's kind of like a computer. Alrighty then, let's get to prepping. We're going to start by uh, preparing the kale. Uh, the, uh, the recipe calls for uh, tough stems uh, being trimmed and uh, leaves that are coarsely chopped. Uh, we have, uh, you can either use a, uh, an implement or easier way would be to uh, rip it. Rip it. As long as it is uh, ready to go into the uh, pan, which uh, is right over here, uh, we should be, uh, whichever way is, uh, should work. I just want to dry this too a little bit before mm -hmm. it goes in because it can, when it mixes with the oil, it'll splash. In this case, we'll do, uh, we'll do a cup spot. reading how nutritional this is. Mm. Yeah, I heard it's, some uh, great things about that and uh, leafy greens in general. Yes. They gave some uh, interesting alternates in the uh, cookbook. Uh, it's not just uh, if you didn't have kale, you could use uh, spinach or Swiss chard. Swiss chard's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard good things about that mm -hmm. too. I don't know if we're going to need to use all of it because it only calls for a cup of ricotta. Um, oh, okay. The, uh, I think that, I think it'd be ideal to have a uh, good balance of the two. Yes. What do you think, that much is good? Good handful? Yeah, I would say a good handful is perfect. Ready. Next thing we want to do is prepare the uh, pan in order to uh, cook the uh, kale uh, so that it will be ready for uh, 
to be mixed with the uh, ricotta. Uh, we want to uh, preheat the we want to preheat the stove to a bit more than uh, medium high. So in this case, uh, we would be going to uh, number six. Uh, there's uh, low, one to nine, and uh, high on there. And so while that's heating, uh, next thing we want to do is uh, prepare uh, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Kale should be ready to go in the woods shortly. All right, you want a rough chop, right? Yep, I guess that that would uh, helps. Whenever you're ready. Alright. And I dried it a little bit too, so it doesn't smell. Excellent. Fly. Or as your husband would say, awesome. <laughs> okay. All ready. <clears throat> so I'm gonna start uh, tossing it a little bit. only takes about five minutes, but people said it takes even quicker, so I haven't tossed kale yet. I can eat it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Be something to try. I'm going to use this to be safe. Just about there. Starting to wilt. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that this uh, particular book uh, goes through every uh, minuscule detail about uh, the vegetables and the suggestions about them. So. It's good. There's so many different things you could do. Mm -hmm. I plan to read it, uh, read as much more of it as I possibly can. So, what do you think? I think it looks perfect. Excellent. So, we'll shut this off. All ready. Next thing we're going to do is transfer this over here. Give it a little bit to cool before we uh, move on to the uh, mixing of the ricotta cheese. Alrighty, now that the uh, kale is cool, uh, we're going to add the uh, ricotta cheese. 
which technically is not a cheese, but we classify it as such. Okay, and we're just going to mix it together. This might work okay. a little bit better. Kind Sounds of like a good idea. Yeah, I think that'll also split up the, everything so that you can get a... Uh, Even distribution. Excellent, yep. When do you season this? After you've mixed oh. it all together? Yeah, mix it up and then we're going to season it with uh, some salt and pepper. Yeah, you don't want to put salt on your greens mm -hmm. beforehand. It makes them too watery. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really beginning to look like the... Uh, it is, yep. Recipe in the book. Doesn't have to be perfect either because it's gonna melt down a little bit. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? Oh, superb! Okay. All right. Let's season it with. Oh, already. Ooh, pink salt. Pink salt. Uh, I don't want to do too much. Kitty cat. Get, stay. Leave Josh at home. That's plenty. Yeah, that looks about perfect. Alrighty, and I want to... More? Mm, maybe a little bit more. That's good. Excellent. Alrighty. Want me to spin it around a little bit? Yep, a little bit more, and then we're going to put it in the oven. Next thing we're going to be doing is uh, preparing the uh, crostini. Uh, there is no specification as to how it is uh, uh, supposed to be prepared. Uh, you can even use crackers if you'd like, and it would probably work. But for us, we're going to use uh, uh, Italian bread that we're going to bake, uh, and we're going to brush some olive oil onto it already. So nice and browned on top. Mm -hmm. Be a good base for that dip. Oh, absolutely. That's oh, the director. Next thing we're going to be doing is uh, placing everything in the oven, uh, the, uh, the crostini and the uh, kale ricotta dip. Uh, they uh, tell you that you should bake it until it is uh, golden brown on the top or bubbling, uh, which they suggest that it should take about 12 minutes. So we will just uh, let it uh, bake. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. We're going to remove the bread. Uh, that should be ready to go. Put the uh... mm. that came out mm. good. 
the Calvert Coda dip looks like. It's getting there too. Yep, sure does. Give it a few more minutes. So we're ready, let's check. Ready? Yeah. That, I think it looks good to go. I think it looks great. Ready? Let's put it back onto this, let's put it somewhere to cool. You want to move this over a little and yeah. put it in the front? Okay. There we go. Already, yeah, that's bubbling. Looks good too. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Shut that off. And just wait for it to cool with the Cristini until we uh, then we can do the best part. Taste. Already time for the best part. Alrighty, how much would you like on here? I'll leave it up to you. Okay. Well that looks about great. Okay. That's for you. Mm, thank you. Okay. I gotta, I'm gonna feel less eating. Too. Yes. Okay, I'll try a little bit for myself. Okay, I'll put this somewhere safe. Yeah, I'll put it over here. Okay. Ready? Yep. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm, yeah. Wow. Not only does it taste good, but it makes you feel good, too. It really does. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. Mm. Good job. Mm. Thank you for joining me. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. So good, I think we should share with that. Uh, <laughs> nah. Those of you <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not this. <laughs> if you want to make it yourself, uh, just keep replaying this, and uh, uh, once you come up to something, uh, do something hands on and uh, make yourself uh, some delicious Calvert dip. Healthier alternate, and a tasty one, too. It's great. Mm hmm. I think it's better than spinach dip. Mm. Yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Felt much better when I started using cocoa whip to uh, as a substitute for whipped cream. And mm. I think that it's the same thing with uh, this particular kale ricotta dip, especially since you can use uh, toasted Italian bread. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. For the record, this is uh, Martha Stewart's recipe, or one that her editors uh, put together. Uh, all credit goes to her. Uh, we put our little touches on it, but it's uh, her inspiration. Uh, and I will leave a link down below to uh, Martha Stewart's Vegetables, uh, which is a, uh, her collection of uh, vegetable-based uh, recipes. Uh, and they all look really good, and I highly suggest that you uh, check it out. Me too. <laughs> Hope everybody has a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holiday. And uh, thank you for tuning into this hands-on review uh, on the Literary Gladiators channel. And for now, and as always, I encourage you to keep reading.